Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top health news. Common household chemicals could harm development of critical brain cells finds new study. In a groundbreaking study conducted by researchers at Western Reserve University School of Medicine in Ohio, attention has been drawn to the potential dangers of everyday household chemicals on brain health. Published in the journal Nature Neuroscience, the research reveals alarming insights into the adverse effects of commonly used disinfectants, furniture and even toothpaste on crucial brain cells. The study suggests that these chemicals could impede the development of vital brain cells, potentially contributing to neurological conditions such as multiple sclerosis and autism spectrum disorders. While genetic factors have traditionally been emphasized on neurological diseases, the research underscores the significant impact of environmental factors. Lead researcher Paul Tesser emphasizes the urgent need for more thorough examination of effects of household chemicals on brain health. He also stresses the importance of informed decision making regarding regulatory measures and behavioral interventions to mitigate chemical exposure and protect human health. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Commenting on the study, environmental chemist Oliver Jones from our MIT University in Australia underscores the importance of understanding toxicity under realistic exposure conditions. While acknowledging the study's use of elevated exposure levels, Jones highlights the necessity of considering the typical dose, route and duration of exposure encountered in everyday life. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.